To add a hard drive to our IQ series DVRs, we simply need to take the hard drive cover off. Um, to do this, just grab a number one or two blade Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, you'll see that there's three screw screws on the sides and one screw at the back, seven in total. So you first need to take those off. That allows us to uh, remove the lid just by um, moving it back slightly and then up and off. So once all those screws are out, just uh, put them somewhere where you uh, won't lose them and do the same for the lid. Then we take the hard drive cables and the, um, the screws that are designed to screw the hard drive into the uh, cradles. And we remove the cradle from the DVR. It's uh, rubber mounted, so it does have a bit of a cushion there, and um, which is great for the hard drives, just in case anybody knocks the DVR or anything, even um, just gives a little bit of a uh, cushioning. So just take all four screws out, and again, just place them somewhere where you won't lose them because they are very specific for the uh, DVR. Then we slide the hard drive into the cradle. It's a fairly tight fit. And once it's uh, safely into the cradle, just uh, reasonably gently get that in and then align the screw holes up for the hard drive. Now there's, um, there's four screws to go in, two on each side of the uh, hard drive. And the holes are in a very specific position for the um, for it to mount in, so you'll see those there. And once they're lined up, you can just put your screwdriver in to line the holes up precisely, and then uh, proceed to put the four screws in. Flip it over and do the other two. And then we can mount the hard drive permanently back into the uh, DVR. So we just grab those screws, making sure that our cable connections are at the uh, the end closest to the PCB that you can see there. And put those cradle screws back into the uh, into the DVR. Now we're right to do the electrical work on the uh, hard drive. So we take out the uh, SATA power leads and then just tie the, all the uh, leftover ones back off. Grab out the SATA drive lead and place that into the back of the drive and start sequentially along the ports uh, for the PCB on the DVR. So it's port 1, port 2, port 3, whichever. So if you're up to port um, you know, 2, hard drive 2, make sure that you use port 2. Once you reboot the DVR, you'll notice that it comes up and tells you that there's a hard drive that has been added to the storage menu. So we just acknowledge that by clicking on the OK sign. And then we log into the DVR and format that drive and add it into the system. So we go down to the admin. And then up to the highlight the date NTP and click on storage. And then over where it says format and added, what we want to do there is just click on the added 
and it'll say do you want to format and reboot so we just acknowledge that and say yes and that's simply all you need to do to add a hard drive to our DVR. Uh, once it's finished rebooting the DVR will start recording properly.